$900 billion. Late last night, Congress passed another relief bill for struggling, those struggling during the pandemic. Professor Alex Tejada joins us live to explain it may not be enough for many downtown businesses. Alex? Tom, the announcement of a new federal relief package should help Rochester's economy in two ways, helping small businesses as well as the employees that had to be laid off. Yet for many businesses, they've been facing other obstacles in addition to the pandemic. So is it a case of too little, too late? For some businesses, this is going to be a band-aid. For others, it will be a bridge to sustainability. Many local businesses receiving assistance last round. The relief we got has been great. So, um, and also our landlord worked with us a little bit too. So we've got, we got a few more months uh, to kind of see how things go. Um, our phrase was, you know, kick the can a little further down the road. But it's like a trickle compared to what my business used to be. While others missed out on the aid altogether. This bill really did target smaller businesses and it's focusing especially on those that have had to shut down. The chocolate store received aid last time around but will not this time. Our category is confectionery so it doesn't look like we're going to get any relief from that. Meaning businesses have had to find different ways to reach customers. It's now that people stop eating chocolate it's just how do they get it now. The chocolate shop is offering delivery and carry out, and nearby, Jenny's Fine Fabric started a website, but business is still slow. In the pits, I'd say. Citing shopping habits have changed, plus, with fewer elective surgeries and visitors at Mayo Clinic, downtown foot traffic has almost completely dried up. Hospitality, retail, um, restaurants, they're the second largest employers in our community, and so much of that is dependent upon Mayo patients and Mayo employees. Downtown construction causing its own headaches as well. Oh. <laughs> you know, people couldn't even get to my shop. There were customers who said, do I need a helicopter to drop me in? Smith says the construction was bad timing on the city's part, but is optimistic for a better future. I'm hoping for a little bit of normalcy. With the assistance that we're getting and the community's continued support, we'll be able to get onto a path to recovery for 2021. Harrington reminds people about recent assistance passed by the state, saying it should help Rochester business and urges owners to join in on a seminar hosted by the Chamber of Commerce next month. Reporting live in Rochester, Alex Tejada, KTDC News. Thanks, Alex. Despite an initial hiccup in vaccine supply, 